Morning, July 21. The daughter of Jerusalem hath shaken her head at thee. Isaiah 37, verse 22. Reassured by the word of the Lord, the poor trembling citizens of Zion grew bold and shook their heads at Sennacherib's boastful threats. Strong faith enables the servants of God to look with calm content upon their most haughty foes. We know that our enemies are attempting impossibilities. They seek to destroy the eternal life, which cannot die while Jesus lives, to overthrow the citadel against which the gates of hell shall not prevail. They kick against the pricks to their own wounding and rush upon the bosses of Jehovah's buckler to their own hurt. We know their weakness. What are they but men? And what is man but a worm? They roar and swell like waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. When the Lord ariseth, they shall fly as chaff before the wind, and be consumed as crackling thorns. Their utter powerlessness to do damage to the cause of God and his truth may make the weakest soldiers in Zion's ranks laugh them to scorn. Above all, we know that the Most High is with us. And when he dresses himself in arms, where are his enemies? If he cometh forth from his place, the potsherds of the earth will not long contend with their maker. His rod of iron shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel, and their very remembrance shall perish from the earth. Away, then, all fears, the kingdom is safe in the king's hands. Let us shout for joy, for the Lord reigneth, and his foes shall be as straw for the dunghill. As true as God's own word is true, nor earth nor hell with all their crew, against us shall prevail. A jest and byword are they grown, God is with us, we are his own. Our victory cannot fail. July 21st Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do, of his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13 what a staggering weight of thought is excited by these words. Stay, my soul, and wonder that the eternal God should stoop to work within thy narrow limits. Is it not a marvel indeed that he whom the heavens cannot contain and in whose sight they are not clean should trouble himself to work on such material? so unpromising and admit circumstances so uncongenial. How careful should we be to make him welcome and to throw no hindrance in his way? How eager to garner up all the least movements of his gracious operation as the machinist conserves the force of his engine and as the goldsmith with miserly care collects every flake of gold leaf. Surely we shall be sensible of the fear of holy reverence and the trembling of eager anxiety as we work out into daily act and life all that God our Father is working in. F. B. Meyer Evening, July 21 why go I mourning? Psalm XLII, verse 9. Canst thou answer this, believer? Canst thou find any reason why thou 
art so often mourning instead of rejoicing? Why yield to gloomy anticipations? Who told thee that the night would never end in day? Who told thee that the sea of circumstances would ebb out till there should be nothing left but long leagues of the mud of horrible poverty? Who told thee that the winter of thy discontent would proceed from frost to frost, from snow and ice and hail to deeper snow and yet more heavy tempest of despair? Knowest thou not that day follows night, that flood comes after ebb, that spring and summer succeed to winter? Hope thou then, hope thou ever, for God fails thee not. Dost thou not know that thy God loves thee in the midst of all this? Mountains, when in darkness hidden, are as real as in day, and God's love is as true to thee now as it was in thy brightest moments. No father chastens always. Thy Lord hates the rod as much as thou dost. He only cares to use it for that reason which should make thee willing to receive it, namely, that it works thy lasting good. Thou shalt yet climb Jacob's ladder with the angels, and behold him who sits at the top of it, thy covenant God. Thou shalt yet, amidst the splendors of eternity, forget the trials of time, or only remember them to bless the God who led thee through them, and wrought thy lasting good by them. Come sing in the midst of tribulation. Rejoice even while passing through the furnace. Make the wilderness to blossom like the rose. Cause the desert to ring with thine exulting joys for these light afflictions will soon be over. And then, forever with the Lord, thy bliss shall never wane. Faint not nor fear, his arms are near. He changeth not, and thou art dear. Only believe, and thou shalt see that Christ is all in all to thee.